Welcome to this week's Stump the Scientist. Our question this week comes from Binu Mohan, who wants to know, how is the buildup of electricity in the human body happening, and what are the other objects that can have this same phenomena? Okay. Good question, Binu. Let's start by reminding those who are listening what electricity is. Electricity is just the flow of electric charges. And electric charges come in either positive or negative variety. And we're talking about charges that are very small. They're always at the atomic level. But that's basically what electricity is. Now, the kind of electricity that you're most familiar with is the electricity that you plug into the wall socket to get. Now, that electricity is not the kind that you find in the human body because that kind of electricity flows through copper wires. And obviously, there are no copper wires in the human body. We're not set up for that kind of electricity. So what happens in the human body is that we have nerves. And the nerves carry the electric current and the electric charge in the human body. Now, the electric charges in the human body are present on charged atoms. And we call a charged atom an ion. And those charges can be either positive or negative. Now what happens is that when we eat food, we supply energy to our bodies, and that energy is partly used to separate positive and negative ions in the nerves in the body. And then when the nerve wants to conduct electricity or fire, the nerve causes the positive and negative charges to come together. And the flow of those charges coming together constitutes an electric current in the body in the nerves. And that is a pulse of electricity that then travels down the nerves from, let's say, the brain to the hand, if we're telling the hand to move. And so that's how electricity is made and used in the body, looked at in a basic way. Now, you can see from that answer that we get that electricity by eating, really, by getting uh, food and that causes really the basis of all the energetic processes in the body. Now the second part of Binu's question is what other objects or things use this kind of process to generate electricity? Well, the first thing we can say is that any animal that has a nervous system basically uses the same technique I've just described, that the human body does. They eat food, causes a separation of charge across their nerves, and then when the nerves want to fire, the charges are let to come back together, positive attracts negative, a pulse of electricity travels down the nerves in the animal's body. But we also get this kind of ionic conduction in other things we're familiar with. The battery may be the most familiar. In batteries, ions are moving. The way we store charge in a battery is either by charging the battery, and you've certainly done that with your rechargeable batteries, or with the batteries we don't recharge, we make them initially from highly energetic materials. And then when we want to get electricity out of the battery, we connect it up to the object we want to receive the electricity and allow the electricity to flow out of the battery, and the battery discharges. So, Benu, good question, and I hope that helps answer it.